What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today I am going to show you how to change your edger blade. It's very simple, very easy. Some tools you're going to need is a uh, smaller screwdriver. You will need some needle nose pliers. Uh, you will also need a 17 millimeter. Um, if you're now, this is for the Echo Edger, so it could be different with yours. For the Echo 266S, uh, this is a 17 millimeter. And then, of course, you're going to need your new Edger blade. So, we're going to pull off the Golden Edge blade, put on a regular Edger blade, and show you how easy and simple this is. So, let's jump into the video. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to wanna to remove this cotter pin here. And uh, then we will use our screwdriver to find our hole back here. And that's how we will loosen this nut up. So let's get this cotter pin removed. So the first thing we're gonna do here is twist these up. Now, depending on how many times you've done this, it does not hurt to uh, actually have a new cotter pin available so you can just switch it out because you can only do these so many times before they actually bend and break and everything else so let's get this put together here and then we are going to pull this out just like that all right, so if you can see in here, when I twist this, there's the, see that? See how it opens up right there? So this is where we want our screwdriver to go. And this will slide in there, and that way this is completely locked. You can't turn it no more. And this is how we will get our bolt here at loose. So we'll hold this. now. We are going to loosen this and this will turn clockwise to loosen. So unlock righty tighty lefty loosey. This is going to be the totally opposite. So and then we will pull this off. And you don't have to have a extended socket you can use a regular which I'm going to switch to now actually all right so now that we got that loose we can pull this completely straight off we'll want to keep these so we'll put this back in there just like that then our edger blade going to go on then we will put this back on and now we will put our nut back on, which is going to tighten to the left counterclockwise. Screw this down. All right, let's find our hole here. Where is it at? There it is right there. Whoop. And now we will tighten this. And now that that's tightened up, we will reinstall our cotter pin. You're just gonna push this through the hole here. Knock it in. Pull it as far as it'll go. And then we're going to take and twist this over to hold it in place. And do the, some people will uh, actually do this and they will do it to where you twist both of them. Um, I prefer to just do it like this and not have to worry, but you do it how you feel. Now that that is up, your new edger blade is now installed. So that quick, that simple, less than five minutes to do this. And uh, you were on your way to edging with a new etcher blade. 
All right, guys, and just like that, you have switched out your old edger blade and put on your new edger blade. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. But thanks for watching. If you haven't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Danny, and I will see you in the next one. Let's go. I'm a strap for the great. Yep. Knock with the bass. Yep. I got the echo locked in your face. Ooh. If you want to battle, this is not that place. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube live yep. where I thrive. Yep. See me on the tour, watch the grass fly by. Some think that I'm cocky. DeWalt to Milwaukee. It really don't matter because y'all can get off me. If you like the videos.